Nehemiah 4.14. After I looked things over, I stood up and said to the nobles, the officials, and the rest of the people, Don't be afraid of them. Remember the Lord your God, who is great and awesome. And fight for your families, your sons, your daughters, your wives, and your homes. Gentlemen, this is Fight Club. For so long I carried the weight of my past Crippled by burdens like stones on my back I thought I had fallen too far from your grace But you came and showed me the way When I was a lost soul searching You were the ground beneath my feet When I was a blind man begging You were the eyes so I could see When the smoke was rising up If you haven't been part of a fight club or a Marked Men for Christ weekend, you are missing out. These two ministries give you the tools to fight for your families, your sons, your daughters, and your home. I praise God for my husband who fights for our family daily. With the support of the prayers, encouragement, accountability, and support from the men from these two ministries. This is Debbie Miller. Um, I'm Hank's wife, the big, tall, handsome one. 
Um, and I was asked to share some of the improvements that I saw in Hank's life um, and there was a lot. Um, I saw big changes um, even though it wasn't it was a span of weeks but Hank was when Hank is committed to something he's committed to something. Hank hates when he disappoints other people so um, I believe that Fight Club they touched some spots in Hank's life that I as a wife as a woman I couldn't reach it at the moment. Um, we've been married for a year and a half at, right now, so it was really something that I know he has the struggles that other godly men are able to help him. Um, a big part that I saw Hank's life changing was under our struggles, under pressure, when we, were, we didn't have happy moments. I saw a huge difference in Hank. He was kinder, he had so much patience, he was just a better person and he knew how to deal with the situation, even though sometimes they were bad. Um, so definitely those parts, I was like, wow, that's definitely a new Hank that I'm getting to know. And just the commitment, you know, our marriage, that's Hank's and I, biggest commitment that we ever had. So Fight Club definitely was something that Hank was so committed to. And maybe at first it was, for him, it was like, oh man, I gotta do this and I gotta do that. and. The list was really long, but definitely after he had this biggest smile on his face saying, I did it. And he was so proud of himself. I, as a wife, was so proud of him. And it pushed me to be a better person as well, to run with him every day, to, I said, honey, you gotta read your Bible. You don't wanna strike. And that made me say, hey, now I gotta read the Bible as well. So it really, we start seeing the fruit coming out of it. And it was amazing. Uh, speaking specifically for Ethan, uh, babe, I am so proud of you. Uh, we have just had a really fun time getting to um, see how much you've grown and how much you have inspired uh, me and how much you've inspired others just to become better at who God has created them to be. And it has just been really exciting to see you pull your creative side when it's come to making of the block. And um, man, when you washed my feet, I was just taken aback. It was very sweet, such a humbling experience. Um, I've loved that we've had more date nights. I can't wait for more to come. And um, I'm just really excited to see uh, what continues to keep happening. And uh, just, I love seeing you get up early at 6 a.m., which we all know is really early for you, um, and to continue making that a habit. I, um, I'm thankful that you are making the commitment and that you're sticking to it. Uh, and I just, I'm super proud of you. I love you so much, more than words can say. Charlie, we've been through some uh, rough times in our marriage, but the hardest has been in the last month. Um, I'm happier in all these men's groups. I really think that um, it's saving our marriage. And uh, I pray that you stay in the, in the fight club. And um, it's been the biggest positive change I've ever seen. And I'm truly grateful for that. I've watched Cliff grow in all three areas. It's very nice to see Cliff doing his devos in the morning um, on the lanai and just getting to grow closer with God, which is not only good for him, but it's really good for the boys. Um, it's a great model. It encourages me, it encourages them. Um, physically too, it's been, it's been fantastic to see him uh, motivate all of us when he says, I'm gonna go out for a bike ride, or I'm gonna go out for a run, or how am I gonna get my miles in? And he challenges the boys, and he challenges me by doing that. Uh, and we get up, and we go out and run and ride our bikes, and uh, we do that as a family. We do our, what do I call them, squat rockets. Uh, we do sit-ups, we do push-ups, and it's been a really nice way to get strong as a family. I have watched him spend one-on-one -on -one time with the boys that he hadn't done before. Um, in their rooms, having conversations with them, um, taking them places, 
to the store, to the hardware store, getting them up on the roof to repair it. Um, boy, lots of, lots of things that, that the kids need, the boys need, um, that masculine role model. They need their dad, and dad is really stepping up in that area, and it's encouraging for them, and it's encouraging for me. We've talked a little more about certain things, and um, <clears throat> that he set up paintball for my 16th birthday recently. Dad, since he's been in Fight Club, he's try he's been trying to get a bit more personal with me and Clayton. I like I like that about it. I like that. And even further than that, he has been a very big inspiration for me. I don't think he knows that enough, though. Thank you very much, Dad. Love you. Real special time when he washed all of our feet. He had us sit out by the pool and and he had something special to say to each one of us and the impact that that had that showed his quiet strength. It showed that he serves our family in as much as he leads our family. The, the opening the door for me, that was a real challenge to get used to, but it was, it was special. And um, the praying together. I long to pray together as a family, together just as husband and wife. And that um, challenge really motivated Cliff in that area, and um, it's sweet. Hi, my name is Irene Schmicky. Hi, I'm Jordan. Hi. Brooklyn. And we'll first start off by saying how very proud we are of you, Chad. Yes, yes we, we are, are Dad. Dad. Um, I really wanted to thank you for reading the devotions with me and just guiding me in the right path. And I feel like it's definitely pulling our relationship closer. You know, I see you every morning when I wake up reading your Bible and going through devotions. And 10 minutes later, I get out of the shower and you're still there. And I really... I'm really glad that you did this men's thing. I feel like it's just pulled you a lot closer to this family and Jesus. And, you know, just, I love you so much and I'm proud of you. Dad, um, I thank you for walking with me and stuff, praying with me, and that, and that we have been working together. Thank you, Dad. I love you. Dad, you know, I'm, I'm just very thankful that you have done this men's group and you have led this family um, in such a positive way. It's, it's very nice to wake up in the morning and to see you starting your day off, seeking God, reading your Bible, doing your devotions and praying. Um, I know there's been many late nights that uh, you have stayed up and, and you were tired and you still maybe didn't get your work the rest of your workout in and, and just to finish I remember one night it was like 12 45 1 o'clock in the morning and you still had to get up for work the next day I just want to let you know that we are so very proud of you Great job. Great job. job, and we love you. Peace. Love you.